Good lord! <laughs> you watch football, you play fantasy football, you play Survivor. You're, there's days where you can't be stopped. Like, everything turns to gold, or if you're gambling, green. Mm -hmm. And then you have days like yesterday, where everything you touch turns into a great, big, steaming pile of bullish! <laughs> I got kicked in the net so hard, I'm going to be barfing blood for the rest of the year! <laughs> Jesus not, Christ! She was not happy. Like, Ravy, <sighs> and thank God the kids were out of the house. Mm. Not that they haven't heard these words before, <laughs> but, but like, Ravy, like, top of her lungs. <laughs> F! <laughs> more than once! <laughs> <laughs> Starting she gets with up and takes a couple laps. <laughs> the pick I was so confident in, the Steelers, defensively, they played a great first half, and then everything fell apart in the ah. second half! Yeah. Starting with Ben Roethlisberger getting injured, he might have to have surgery. Oh, oh no. no. And if that's the case, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like some kind of elbow issues having an MRI oh. today. Oh. Yeah, and it's on his throwing elbow. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. So terrible. backup quarterback Mason elbow. Rudolph actually looked pretty good. But my lock of the week, the Steelers lost 28 to 26, which led Woody to say, quote, Lock of the week, my ass! <laughs> <laughs> the Seahawks aren't that bad this year. Why was that the lock? Look, I defended it on Thursday Go last week. Go back to the podcast. Go back that. and listen. Okay. <laughs> now, Ben Roethlisberger's injury is going to be a running theme. As he was my starting quarterback for Team Burbank Ballers, and while we got some excellent play from Dalvin Cook, Derrick Henry, and the Texans defense, when your quarterback is only worth three, that can be difficult to overcome. Ballers lose 101-98. to God damn it! Damn. That's when it really sucks. <laughs> nah. One touchdown, that's a week to win! But three points. Mm. Now, you know Menace is very into our head-to-head -head matchups on Fandle. So into it, he spent yesterday eating his face off at some fruit and pickle festival. <laughs> <laughs> All while my Fandle quarterback, Ben Roethlisberger, oh, no. <laughs> was nursing his elbow on the sideline. I want to hear more about this festival. On oh, Fandle, yeah. he was only worth three. Mm -hmm. Menace's quarterback, Patrick Mahomes, was worth 31. Jeez. <laughs> Therein lies the difference. Menace was victorious in week two. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Wow. You know? 95 to 80. <laughs> wow. He also got a nice performance from the guy we all laughed at, DJ Chark Jr. Yeah, from the he Jaguars. was my second highest scoring player. He caught seven balls for 55 yards nice. and a touchdown. First of all, balls. Thank you, Chark. Nice. Uh, his yeah. defense, the Chiefs, also got a touchdown against the Raiders. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look. This is what I'll say about that. Even a blind squirrel gets a nut every so often. <laughs> Congrats, Menace, on your first ever fantasy football victory. Thank Don't you. get used to it. <laughs> What'd you have at the festival? Enjoy it now. Yeah. What, what was this thing you went to? I. Uh, it's called. It was called the Family Style Food Fest. It was put on by the clothing brand The Hundreds, and they had all kinds of food there. Fruit. Pickles. Well, it had some fruit, but I also had the Howland Ray's chicken that uh, everyone oh, was crazy oh, for. Nice. And then, yeah, I did have a fruit bowl, which was interesting to me because don't often. Yeah, fruit. How rare. <laughs> yeah. What a rare thing. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. your fantasy yeah. victory. Yeah. Like rare. Bad, like yeah. a bad donated organ. It yeah. just <laughs> turned on them. Yeah, they had all kinds of food there. It was awesome. It was good. But yeah, and then I got home and I go, oh, I won. Yeah. Oh, I checked I out. <laughs> punch you in your but nads. That one guy that everybody wanted me to change, Jennings, which again, I'm not going to deviate my picks. He didn't. He, he did didn't, not play. He did not he take didn't the play, field, and just I didn't like get everybody thought. Any points off that guy. Anyway. That's what happens when they don't play. That's why I said don't get yep. used to it. I want to address <laughs> this tweet from Maniacal MF, who <laughs> came right. at me after the Steelers lost. And he wrote, quote, I genuinely don't think you take fantasy football seriously. Oh, as funny what? as the, quote, character is during the update I can't take it seriously there's no humbleness or accountability uh, it's also ravey humbleness True. accountability that's my daily life okay <laughs> don't take fantasy seriously listen maniacal mf you couldn't be more wrong if you're humble in fantasy football why you play it 
That's the fun of it! <laughs> to be like this! <laughs> <laughs> to be like this. And am I being accountable today? Kinda, sorta. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Suck on that maniacal MF. I take it seriously. And no, I'm not humble. And I'm kind of accountable. Congrats, menace, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. You, well, there's the fantasy update update. I can't wait to play again.